G'day guys, how are you going? How would you like it if you, say, ordered a new caravan or something and it came with a 50 litre fridge and then you've picked it up and then a week or so later, you realise that there was an option that you could have got an 80 litre fridge and you might have three kids or something like that and you think, hey, how come you didn't tell me about that? And the guy's like, oh, you didn't mention, I, I didn't know you wanted something like that. And this is, this is what's happened at this house here, okay? Like, they've, I, I got called out to get a Bosch 10P hot water system, see if we can get it, get it working. Okay, it wasn't, it couldn't be fixed. Um, the gland sleeve was all chewed up and everything like that. So, um, very easy for me to just go and grab another one, chuck it on the wall and, and get my money, you know, or even for you guys at home, if, if you know that it needs to be replaced and it's 15 years old or something, it's very easy just to ring around on the internet, get the, um, you know, the, the, the cheapest price and get them to chuck it in. But the trouble is, you're gonna be stuck with that hot water system for the next 10 to 15 years maybe, okay? And if it's not the right location, or you don't know there's other better options around, then you might just take that, and then you'll be sort of living with regret for the rest of the time. So I'll show you what's happened on this one, and then um, I'll go through it. So yeah, bit of a case study. Okay, stay tuned. G'day, I'm Ben from Beautiful Plumbing. All right, I'll show you the situation over here. Come around here. So this is where the hot water system um, sit originally, right? And you can see down here, that's what I talk about, the gland sleeves just in here. I'll see if we can get a bit of more of a focus on that. How there's no way we could we could have changed that, okay, or, or even even fix it. So it's not not worth the repair, okay. Now the hot water came out of here and it came along the corner, okay, up here, then went here, then it went all the way up, okay, up here, and then it ran all the way along the roof, all the way along the roof line, all the way down, okay, right over here. You'll see, see up there. That's where it came in. So it comes down here like this, all the way down, down here, and then all the way down here and that went into the the kitchen sink just in there okay so we've got nearly maybe 20 meters of pipe that that had to be emptied before we had hot water that um, came to the sink here okay so you're blowing a lot of hot water now when you have a, um, a kitchen sink your hot water system should be as close as you, um, possible to get the to the kitchen sink because it um, that's when you want to be rinsing your bowls and you only really got the water on for 30 seconds or something where in the shower you don't mind waiting 45 seconds for the water to come through because you're at least showering for five to 10 minutes. Okay, if that all makes sense. Okay, so this time what we've done is we've measured how long it actually took for the water to come from this location across the roof and everything and down to the kitchen sink and you know, to get up to 50 degrees what it should be and it took something like 25 seconds, right? So it's very important if you can shift the location of the hot water system to as close to the kitchen sink as possible that's the best way because during the day you might use it six or seven times just to you want a little bit of hot water to clean the plate or to heat up a sponge or fill up a pot or something like that you want that water as soon as possible okay now you don't mind waiting 30 40 seconds if you're getting in the shower because by the time you've got your clothes off the water's hot and then the water's on for nearly i don't know five to ten minutes maybe 15 minutes depending on how long you have a shower for okay but the kitchen sink you really don't turn it on that much and or as as long if you're just filling up a a sink or something that's probably the longest but just that little rinsing stuff that's why it's so important so i said to him hey you open the moving up moving the you know the hot water system location from here to over there and um you know be another you know a bit more gas pipe and stuff like that a bit more water pipe and everything you know? by the end of the day you're going to be st stuck with this hot water system that's going to work so much more efficiently and run you know so much better for the next 10 15 years so i'll show you how it all worked out now Okay, so the original location of the hot water system was over there. It's cactus where it's all disconnected. Get rid of that. We've moved it over to here. Now it's only like what five meters difference. It's not. It's not a massive. Okay, we just need to run a new gas main across. Here's the you know new cold main. We can come around here so you can see that this is the new cold main that runs into it that we've teed into, and the hot main. This is the most important one. It comes around here, sticks behind the pole here, and comes up here and then straight across over to here. You can see, it just goes to the um, to the sink. So. It's only maybe, I don't know, three metres of, of piping before it um, you know, comes to the kitchen sink. So you know, it's going to take heaps less. But anyway, we'll go inside and we'll quickly try it and see how long it actually takes to, to fire up. Okay, so the hot water system now inside, it's just on the other side of that wall there. That's where it's hung, okay? So you can see the distance is heaps, heaps um, closer. Okay, so we just put the timer on now and then we'll see how long it actually takes to, 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 come, to come through. Started a bit earlier, that's all right. So, 40, 45. 45. Yeah. Yeah, we're heating up now. 
that's already 50 there, so 15 seconds, you know, and that's with the, the um, continuous hot water system, which takes a while to get, get going, so save the stacks of water for them, and um, they can be saving water for 10, 15 years now, so um, good result. Okay, so you're, if you're in the market for a new hot water system, and it might you know, just be a service or a replacement, if you're going to replace it, make sure you get a plumber out that's, you know, not just for the quick changeover and out the door, but maybe give you some good advice about, you know, and some good options about, you know, you, you could be able to shift it. Now, sometimes it's not financially possible to shift it because it's, it's too expensive, but a lot of times, like in this situation, it didn't cost much more. So just from moving it from that situation over to here, we've, we've saved nearly 20 metres of pipe work and that'll be you know, used six times a day, so it all sort of adds up. So um, thanks for watching, and if you ever need a plumber, then uh, you're in Perth, give us a call, happy to help you out. Thanks, catch you later.